and I just, the things that I've seen over the last couple of weeks has been a little concerning, mainly because just the state of humanity in general is like, you know, um, and it's like, what are you, what are we doing? You know, what are, what are we doing? Why is it okay to continue to allow people to be treated a certain way just because of how they look or just because of their skin color? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I've seen so many things done to people recently that it's very, it's like sickening. And honestly, really honestly, like I've, I've said multiple times, like Earth doesn't, we don't, you, humans don't deserve to have a planet anymore. Like, let's have another apocalypse and just wipe out, like, humans all together and just leave the animals and, and everything else because we can't have nothing nice, you know? Like, there have been multiple opportunities to where you could, where we could have switched to, like, natural resources and stopped, like, destroying, you know, the environment and Earth, you know, with our, our, our nuclear waste and, you know, destroying the seas. And we, no. <laughs> and it's, it's just sad, you know. Um, and I think that's the worst thing about all of the, all of everything that I've gone through on this whole process and this whole journey is seeing the way that just a small percentage, that 1% of of the world's humans have controlled us and put this whole like smoke and mirrors type facade, you know, out and and we've gone through it. We've we've fallen for it. You know, just like a whole bunch of blind sheep being led into the slaughterhouse. And it's it's very I don't know, concerning. It's sad because we, as a people, make up so much more than that 1% that's controlling the entire world. Um, and we have the power to do something about it, but we don't. And, and that's got to change, and it is going to change. But you guys have got to wake up. And it's scary, like the entire situation right now, I feel like I'm free falling off of an airplane, <laughs> out of a spaceship, you know, and I don't really have a target and I don't have a parachute. I'm just relying on my wings to just open and guide me to my, my destination, <laughs> land me safely on a target. And that's so unnerving. But that's what it's like when you, you're just following the universe's, you know, map. Um, but if we don't do something, you know, and stand up for what's right and stop allowing your 1% to continue to throw this, this mask and this illusion of, you know, division upon us, you know, religion was the biggest thing that they put out to divide us all. And it's worked for years. Um, they've whitewashed history, you know, where anybody who has any kind of melanin and pigment to their skin, you know, has been viewed as, you know, like just a criminal or irrelevant to the history. And then when you go back and research it and you find out, you know, you understand why they've tried to eliminate it because it would completely throw off their plan. Um, 5G is coming out. 5G is going to be helpful in some senses. That being um, medical type things to an extent. Um, self-driving cars, you know, self-driving cars will be autonomous. Um, I had a moment where I had gone forward in the dream and uh, this taxi came to pick me up that was autonomous. Nobody was driving it. 
for those who don't know what it means. And um, it's kind of cool, you know. But what, what the goal is ultimately with 5G is to m make people willingly give up all privacy. So, you know, oh, link your phone to this with your laptop to this, with your TV to this, with your security system to this, with your this to this, with your medical records to this, with your this, you know, and, and it's a constant mode of always keeping tabs on you, always seeing you, always knowing what you're doing, where you're at, at every second of every moment. And, um... I want to detach you as more, you know, as possible, as much as possible from, from reality. Um, like I have an Oculus, but I have, <laughs> my angel squad won't let me use it for certain things. Like I just watch movies on it now and I just got it for Christmas, but my angel squad has been very diligent on letting me know that like, no, nope, don't be using this to, you know, stay in contact with people like get on tinder if you're <laughs> if you're trying to meet a date you know or something um because it, it urges you very you know so much when you're using these vr things that um it wants you to create like a you know a, a, a virtual you and and it's like that episode of black mirrors <laughs> you know and People don't understand that when people make these these movies and these um, series, they're doing this because they they're somewhat let in on the plan of the one percent. And it's kind of like when you say a joke, there's always a little bit of truth to it. That's like, you know, with movies and and, and TV series, Black Mirror is very much a foreshadow of of what's coming when five G becomes a thing. Um. They're calling it like the fourth industrial revolution. And literally it's, it's, they're going to start wanting people to get their, their, these chips in their hands so that they can do this and, you know, pay for an item. They're going to do this and register their medical records and do this and, you know, get currency and it's like, once you've done all that, you know, you're going to have the option to be able to kind of like turn yourself into a, a, um, um, a hybrid of machine and man. And anytime, any movie that you've ever seen, when like machines start becoming, you know, when they start trying to make like this symbiote of a person with machine, that 1% can control, you know, your you're everything you're you know they'll know what you're thinking you know what you're doing and it's like giving up what makes you human um just be aware of that guys like go outside spend some time in nature talk to somebody at your dinner table have conversation with each other you know turn the tv off turn your laptop off interact with human do more human to human contact because humanity is losing itself and you guys don't even realize it. 